Hello everyone, this is uh, Dave Spielberg Wolf at uh, Little Belters in a not so sunny Stockport at the moment. It's a bit overcast, but there's a bit of blue sky shining through. Short video, hopefully, on a uh, nice little cheapie this. It's a 2002 Toyota Yaris. Three door, one litre petrol, manual. This vehicle has only had three owners from new. The last one had it from uh, 2014. We sourced this locally from a private seller and sadly it's come to the point where they've had to give up uh, motoring so we've been fortunate to get our hands on it. Uh, it's only done 86,000 miles, may seem a lot but when you divide it by its age it works out at less than 5,000 miles a year. Don't be concerned that the near side front has got a uh, a small tyre on it, a uh, temporary tyre. Uh, I wasn't too happy about the near side front tyre, it was good enough for an MOT but I decided to replace it. So the space saver at the moment that's on it will be replaced with a, a proper tyre. Just walking round the vehicle, it's got the usual scuffs and scratches, I mean you've got to come to terms with that on a car that's 20 years old and in the budget category. But looking at the panels, I'd say it's in well above average condition. Uh, these Toyota Yaris's for me have probably been one of the best, if not the best, of the hatchbacks for the last 20 years. Uh, this Toyota period to uh, 2000 to 2006, 2007, I think was the uh, the golden period. Pardon the pun. Looking at the colour of the car. The Yaris, the Avensis, uh, they were, and the Corolla, they were all superbly engineered at that time. I mean, Toyotas are still good cars, but these were amongst the very best. Just looking at it, we'll have a look at the interior. Uh, I'd say again, the interior, the seats are in above average condition. You can't see any uh, holes or any tears in them. Fair room in the back in these. Uh, for me this is one of the best dashes on hatchbacks as well. Uh, I'll just start it up. There we go. It may be the graphics are flashing, they're not actually flashing but it's an effect you get when you're videoing a car. Nice straightforward dashboard well put together bit of a throwback on this one because the radio has a cassette tape in it I quite like that door cards are decent on it bit of rippling on the material there that's a common fault on it the glue that they use tends to uh, part company with its backing over the years but again you wouldn't bother doing anything about that Again, a couple of scratches, one or two dimples on the side, but nothing uh, of any significance. Certainly nothing that would warrant it going into a body shop. Decent sized boot on these. Probably not great for a family going uh, on holiday. Excuse me, because I've just dropped the camera. But uh, certainly plenty of room to do the weekly shopping and so on. With it being the one litre, these will be cheap to run and cheap to maintain. I'm asking £995 on this, which is not a king's ransom. Uh, I think there's still plenty of life in this one. You might have to spend a few bob when you come to doing the MOT each year, but let's face it, if that was the case, it would be very cheap motoring indeed. Uh, Looks as all these uh, pretty new headlights on these, these tend to fog up as the years go by. But there we are, nice colour, gold. If you are interested, you want to take a test drive, come on down. But before doing so, make sure you give Janet a call on reception on 0161 480 4755. 
cars like this tend to be snapped up and I don't want you having a wasted journey. Just a reminder on air cars, these come with a 12 month MOT. We do a service on them and we put a, a month's warranty on this. So there we are, hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.